In this video, we're going to give you a little sneak peek at a brand new feature here in Beta Release 9. Now, I know what you're thinking. We just got through releasing Beta 8, and now you're talking about Beta 9? Yes, because we're always innovating, always creating new tools that makes it easier to do your rhinestone design work here in CorelDRAW. Now, this particular tool that what we're talking about is a brand new style of rhinestone font, which is a scalable font. Now, what that means is you've probably ran into a situation where you pick a font, you type out a word, and the word is actually too big or too small for your particular application. Let me give you an example. We're going to just type out the word eagles, and we're going to use one of our rhinestone fonts, so we'll come into our font manager here, and we have this great font that we use all the time, which is our boys, our girls font. We're going to set the stone size to SS10s and hit resize font, and we're ready to go to work. That is ready to go, ready to cut. But the problem is, is that the font width is only 5.2 inches wide. Well, for our particular application, what if we wanted it to be 8 inches wide? Well, you're really stuck because the font was created at a certain size. Um, so the, the only other option we would really have is to change the stone size to SS16s and now you can see that the, the overall width is 7.4 inches, so it's closer to 8. But what we really want is we want 8, and we don't want to use SS, SS16s, right? We want to use SS10s. So, but up until now, we're pretty well stuck. Those, those are the options. So what we've done is we've created a brand new style of font, which is a scalable font. So let me show you how that works. So we're going to go ahead and type out the same word, eagles. We'll come in here and we'll choose the scalable version. We'll go ahead and set the width to 8 inches wide and we'll give it a color just for heck. So there's the color. So there is the scalable version. So it's set to 8 inches wide now and now what I want to do is add stones to it. But before I do that, when you're working with a scalable font, you click on this red button and that'll prep the font ready for stones. So now we can come in here, go to the stone tab, add some stones, and then we're going to delete our stone paths. And then we're going to check for overlapping stones. C for check spacing. And now we just need to do a little bit of editing, a little bit of tweaking, if you will. And this is going to be typical of all of your scalable fonts. Um, but we have the, the tools here inside Easy Stone to make the process pretty simple. So for the S, minor change. We're going to just move that stone. We're going to move that stone. S is taken care of. Now, what do we want to do here for our letter E? Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a stone. I'm going to select these stones and right click on H. And then I'm just going to come in here, reposition these a little bit, and do the same thing. Add a stone, select, right click on H, come in here, reposition. Here, what we'll do is we'll move this in a little bit. We will select all of these, right click on H, and then I guess we'll go ahead and move this in a little bit. So now our E is taken care of. For our L, we'll select the first and last one, hit selection, and then right click on H. Now that's a little bit tight, so we'll move that stone and we'll move that stone. We'll do it again. Select H. That takes care of our L. That looks pretty good. Now what are we going to do down here for our G? Well, for our G, we have to make a small change there. We do have an intersecting stone here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little change here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my freehand pick tool, select all those stones, and put to work our new respace tool. So watch that spacing. Done. Taken care of. See that? Perfect spacing now. We'll just make a small change where we want that stone to be placed there for our letter G. Now that looks great. So we'll move this stone a little bit closer together. We will select these stones, right click on H. Position, I tell you what, we're going to go a little bit closer together yet. Right click on H. Oh. 
I didn't have that four stone selected. <laughs> All right, so that takes care of the change that we need to make for our G. And for our A here, what are we going to do here? Well, we're going to select the first stone. Let's tell you what, let's move this in. We'll select that stone and this one and hit S. And we'll right click on H just to line those up a little bit better. And then we do the same thing going in the other direction. And then right here, we'll use the delete overlap function. And then here, I'm just going to delete this stone. And then we'll go ahead and add a stone. Tell you what, let's just delete that one too. I don't think we need five. We'll do four on this side of our A. So whatever you want to do, we can just kind of fix that up a little bit. And then just to finish this off, we're going to move over. So now we have our eagles. It is almost eight inches wide and we're ready to go. And really we only spent a couple of minutes making those minor edits. Um, so it's pretty simple to do. Now let me show you another option that we have that is probably even more exciting with the scalable fonts. So let's go ahead and let's just type out the letter P for this example. We'll switch over to the scalable version. We'll set the height of our letter P to three inches, I guess, for this example. And let me show you what we're gonna do here. We're gonna make a copy of this. I'm gonna show you the first option here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a three stone version and a two stone version. Now you just saw how we did the one stone version. But now we're going to make a three and a two and show you how simple it is to actually get a great result. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come back over here to Easy Stone. Actually, before we do that, we do have to prep these, right? So we're going to have to select, hit this red button. That will prep it for stones. And same thing here. Prep it for stones. And then we're ready to go. So we're going to go to the Stone Fill tab. We're going to go one island fill to the outside. So just right click and you get this result. And then we're going to select everything, go to the stone tab and add stones. And that's what you get. Now it doesn't look like much right now, but it's really easy to fix. So we're going to select it. We're going to hit delete stone paths. We're going to select it. We're going to do check spacing. This is what you get. You got a gap we have to deal with up here and we have some overlapping stones down here. But select the first stone, the last stone, select, right click. Select the first stone, the last stone. It's going to select everything in between and right click. Select the first stone, the last stone, select everything in between, right click. See how easy it was to fix that and get a perfect result. I mean, that's just a matter of a few seconds. Now, I'll do the same thing up here. Watch how this works. Now, this is where it's really magical. We're going to grab our freehand pick tool, only available in Corel Draw X6. If there's one feature to upgrade to Corel X6 for, it's that freehand pick tool. So useful. But we're just going to come in here. Now, at, when I first started with this freehand pick tool, it drove me crazy. So you do have to learn how to control it. There's one extra stone that we selected by accident. But watch what happens here. We'll hit respace. Magic. All those stones, that gap, all filled in. Magical. Okay? Same thing here. Let's select all of these stones. Just do a quick glance. Yes, we got everything that we intended to get. Respace. Done. One more time. Okay, make sure we got everything we intended to get. We missed several that time around. <laughs> I got a little sloppy, but that's okay. We just hold the shift key down and select the additional stones we want to select. And we'll hit respace. And it fixes all that out for us. Done. So there is the three stone version. But look how incredibly perfect that is. Um, so it took very, very little effort. And we got an excellent result. So now let me show you how to do the two stone version. Very similar process, but the only thing is, is an extra couple of keys. So we go back to the stone fill option here. Now the amount of offset is already pre-calculated for us.
based on the stone size that we're using and the spacing, that's already calculated for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one offset, but here's what you're going to do. You're going to hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and right click on Island Fill. All right, and then we're going to select these red lines because we don't need those anymore. So this example, we're going to select what we have left, come to the Stone tab, we're going to Add Stones. Very similar looking to what we did with the three stone version. So we're going to select everything, delete our stone paths, get rid of all the glaring overlaps, and then we got to fill in the gaps. So first, select, right click, takes care of the bottom. Then we got to fix this up here. So grab your freehand selection tool, come in here, add those stones. Everything looks pretty good, so we'll go back to the editing tab and respace. See there? There's an error, right? Well, that is because I did not set the start stone properly. So let's do that again. We're going to select everything. Okay, so I selected everything all the way around but this stone. So hold the shift key, add that stone, then hit respace. Then we're going to get the result that we expected to get. See, so now you have perfect spacing around there. So let's do that again. Select everything around here. Then, once you have all those stones selected, it looks like we missed a couple. I'm going to miss this one, this one, and this one. Then when you hit respace, you'll get the results that you expect. Look at that. So we hit delete. And there we have a perfect two stone version, perfect three stone version, and of course you saw the previous one stone version. So I think you're going to find that the new scalable rhinestone fonts are going to be super, super useful for you. But just want to give you a little sneak peek at some of the things that we're working on um, to help you with your design work here inside CorelDRAW. So I hope you like this one and thanks for watching.